Hi guys, hope you're well. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, in today's video, as you know, Euro 2020 final just happened. The match, England sadly lost. It went to penalties and then we lost. So really disheartening, really sad there. But it's not the match that I want to talk about in today's video. You guys know. If you've just been following the internet, you know what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about those damn football hooligans, the yobs, the crazy people that kind of put everyone's name down. It's not even about the match at this point, it was what is happening outside the match. They just gave everything a bad name and we kept talking about football's coming home, it's coming home, but then it begs the point, why would it come home if this is what home is like and this is what's happening outside, you know, why the hell would football come home? Maybe that's the reason why it's not come home, it's scared to come here, you know, looking at all these people. So we'll watch a few videos today, guys, the few things that I saw on Twitter when I saw them personally, I was like, what the hell? And then we'll also talk about the post-match as well, what happened. This kept going on, guys, this didn't end when the match ended, right? It kept going on. We'll see some articles, just do some discussion and then hopefully get some of your comments to see what you think about the match, what you thought about all this as well, what are your thoughts, get some comments from you too. So that's what we'll do in today's video guys, so let's get into it. So guys, let's start with the first clip. This is before the match by the way, remember this is before the match. Oh my god, look at, look at the rubbish on the street man. So you can already see that they're quite drunk here. That's the thing, like, I don't know what the government's plan was. Thousands of fans descended upon the city, look at them. Just chaos, right? Like, just throwing bottles. That's glass bottles right there, by the way. Just drunk. Look at that street. Look who has to clean this stuff up. Like, we talk about cleanliness, you know? You have to keep your home clean. This is what you do with your home. Football's coming home. Football's coming home to a garbage dump by the looks of it. I think a few of them also threw glass bottles at one of the stores nearby as well. Let me skip this a little bit. There you go, there you go. This is the one where they smashed the bottles right there. Right there, they were throwing bottles at whatever office this was. Look at that, why would you do that? No reason whatsoever. So this was before the match, everyone was drunk as you can see. And now let's move on to another video guys where we show you when they go into Wembley Stadium or that ticketing area where you have to stand. So guys, this video is when they were in the ticketing booth. As you can see, they didn't have any tickets but they still pushed through. So that's the guard stopping them because they have no tickets. You can see there's loads of them, the guards are trying their best but there are too few guards. Not enough guards already. That one guard right there that fell in the red, you saw him. I think he does a really good MMA kick right now to one of these guys. There you go. Nice one. Trip him up. That one. That one was a... I was really surprised. I was like, damn, that guard got angry. He was running. Oh, look at that. Another one. He's really good with those little leg kicks. But yeah, all of them went through. As you can see, they just broke the gates. And then it's kind of like a herd mentality where one sees it happen and all of them have to do it. And now in this video, guys, you see they got into Wembley. They're running up the stairs. Interestingly, people said that they didn't get in and all these people that we saw running up the stairs, they didn't actually get into the stadium. But then we also saw articles where people said that their seats had been taken by these hooligans. So I don't know who's telling the truth, whether the football management, whether the stadium management people are telling the truth or I don't know who's telling the truth. But yeah, they managed to get in. You still see them there. They're running around. And now, guys, this video here, there was a big misconception about this video where people were saying that English fans are attacking Italian fans in the Wembley Stadium. But that's not actually true. We later found out that they're not attacking Italian fans. These are the guys that are coming from outside without tickets. So the guys inside are the ones who legitimately bought tickets and they're attacking the ones that are pushing their way through into the stadium. That's what's happening. They're fighting amongst each other. But obviously that doesn't make it right. Whether you have tickets or not, it's still violence. It's, they're still punching each other. That, that's no way, you know? I know both parties are in the wrong in here as well. So guys, that was the state of things before the match started. You can see how horrible it got. I mean, hats off to Wembley management. How they've dealt with that, I have no idea. There was too many fans. Only thing I'd have to say is if the city knew there were so many people coming, they should have taken better precautions when it comes to those guardrails, things like that. They weren't really prepared for this sort of thing, but who knew that they, people would get this violent, but then knowing English fans, football fans, I won't say all football fans, because I don't want to say every football fan is like this. There is a certain section football fans, as we call them, hooligans, jobs, whatever you want to call them, that give everyone else a bad name. I know there are good football fans. I I saw a post on Twitter saying, please don't judge us by these few law. So I won't say that that's all football fans, but yeah, this is what happened before the match started. Now let's move on to after the match finished. So guys, we lost the match to Italy. It went to penalties. You guys know what happened. A few penalties are missed by our players. Interestingly, once the match finished, I was really surprised on Twitter to see stuff like domestic violence helpline numbers going out, saying that whenever England loses a match, domestic violence goes up by 30% or something. And I was so amazed. I was like, what? 
the hell? I never knew this. That these fans take it out on their partners, wives, whatever, on other fans. And they were like spreading these numbers around and I was so surprised by that. I was like, damn man, like this is horrible. Apart from that, everyone was also putting messages up saying, Italian fans, please be safe, please be safe. And then they were actually right, because I did see a particular video where an Italian fan got cornered after they'd won. That's just sore losers, man. Please don't do this, guys. If you're a football fan, there is something called sportsmanship. I used to play cricket myself, so I know something called sportsmanship. When one team wins, the other loses. You shake hands and you part ways. That's how it goes. There was another article previously I read that a Danish family woman in England played against Denmark got attacked as well after the match. England won that match and that family still got attacked. That is just horrible. And then guys, the main, the main story that was everywhere was of course the fact that the three penalties that were missed were three black players. This didn't even cross my mind. When I was looking at that, I didn't even see their color and be like, oh, they're black, they missed the penalty because my mind doesn't function like that. But when I read some tweets and when I went on the Instagram messages of these players already, already once the match ended, you saw the monkey emojis in the comments, monkey emoji, monkey emoji, all sorts of abuse, like you can't imagine, like horrible, horrible, all these idiot fans. That's why later on there was loads of articles about people saying that these people should get charged, these football fans should even get barred, if you want to call them fans. I mean, I don't even call these people fans, they're idiots, that's the main thing, that's complete idiots. And also there was Marcus Rashford's mural in Manchester, I think that's where it is, where that got vandalized as well, someone left a really horrible message near the mural. But interestingly, really happy news that that mural then got covered by lots of love messages, support messages for Marcus Rashford. So hopefully, hopefully he won't get disheartened by that. So it goes to show there's good people, there's bad people. But sadly, in this football match, bad people were on show. The spotlight was on the bad people. All the stuff that I showed you earlier in the video and then what happened after, it was just a really bad example for all the other countries that are looking at us. I mean, why would you host international tournaments in a country like England, especially when it comes to football? There's something about football culture, guys. I think we need to really look at it carefully because it doesn't happen in cricket. It doesn't happen in all the other sports. Tennis, Andy Murray loses. That doesn't mean we go and start smashing stuff. It's something about football culture where like drinking, smashing stuff, littering. There's something weird about it. I don't know what it is. I just saw it do today's video talk about what happened and we need to get better at this we need to get better at this this isn't the way and as i said this isn't a great example for international countries that are looking at england this was just horrible euro 2020 final i mean this was supposed to be a platform for everyone to say that england reached the final after so many years that was a achievement in itself but then all the news you go everywhere twitter news channels that was what the headlines were english hooligans english jobs ruin the euro finals they do this they do this but that's what the world sees so but yeah guys hope you enjoyed today's video let me know in the comments what you thought about the euro 2020 final as well what do you think how do you think we can deal with this what do you think about those videos that i just showed you we'll keep making lots of news videos reaction videos like this going forwards as well guys along with our gaming stuff so please watch out for these sort of videos in the future as well and as i always say guys stay safe stay healthy and i'll catch you again bye guys